Hello people, this is for Split Splash. Today I'm gonna learn you how to crop a picture in Photoshop using the mask tool. I have already got a background here, so right now I'm just choosing the pick that I will work with and uh, I place it and now we can start. I think it's good to have a bigger kind of view, so I use the zoom tool so I can see myself a bit better. Oh, there we go. So now we can start to work with the pick and that we will do. First you will press the quick mask mode button and then go over to the brush tool. Again you can pause at any time and go back if you want to. Uh, here you will choose the soft one, the soft brush to start with. The size of the brush shouldn't be too small but not too big either otherwise it's going to be hard to follow the outlines of the picture so to speak. So make sure to get something that works for you. And then ladies and gentlemen we're just going to start to paint. Uh, again. The better you do this, the easier it's going to be later on when you're going to crop the actual picture. So this is how you start. You might get to errors in the picture where you have to resize the brush again. I think that's a wise decision, otherwise you will get all over the place. And this is mainly if you have details as I have in this picture. So when that is done, we are going to choose another kind of brush again. This time we will go and pick the one that is much sharper when it comes to the edges. At this point of time you can also choose a bigger size when it comes to the brush. So it will take less time to actually fill up the whole picture. When we're done it should look something like this, meaning that I will become all red. Meaning that we also are going to move into the next step. So go to the left again and press the button edit in standard mode, which is the same that we used from the beginning. Now it's going to look like this and we're going to head over to the left again and choose the rectangle mark tool. This is very important so make sure it's the right one. And then we're going to right click on the picture and we're going to choose select inverse. When you've done that we're going to right click once again and this time we're going to choose refine edge. Now the background is gone and we will have a chance to fix some of the flaws from before. So you can just left click and drag and press a bit around the places where you feel that you need to take away stuff that is not supposed to be in the picture. Be aware of the fact that it's easier to use this technique and the tool if you have a picture with a kind of neutral background. In my case I'm sitting in a chair, I'm in my gaming room, my gaming setup. So therefore you will see the share pop up in the background. But no worries, we'll take care of that later. First we're just going to use the sliders and find something that is of our taste. Again, this is up to you using contrast, feather and things like that. When you're done and you think that you have the setup that you want, then go ahead to selection and choose new layer and press OK. As mentioned before, I have some things in the background I need to take care of. So I'm using the eraser tool again, the soft version. And I'm also enhancing the pick a bit to get into detail. And this is what I do if this happens again, if you have things in the background that, you know, is still in the picture. Same thing here, same technique when it comes to the brush tool, changing to the sharper version in order to get the good edges coming out. Again, this takes time to learn, but no worries, if you've done it a few times, you will get it right. Now we've come to the part where you want to put the picture in place and maybe also you want to choose blending options in order to fix things to your liking. Uh, maybe use some drop shadow just to bring in some depth into the picture, something like that. It's up to you. This is another tutorial, I guess. I want to say thanks for watching. If you have some feedback and questions, put them in the comment section. Make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, consider to subscribe to get more videos coming your way. This was for the Splish Splash. Always a pleasure. Take care people. I hope you learned something today. Bye bye.